New tonight, a state-of-art facility at the University of Michigan Flint campus will offer a brand new educational experience for its students. NBC 25's Nikki Zizaza is in the studio to share the latest technology for the school's nursing program. Nikki. Sadie, U of M Flint unveiled a new clinical simulation center in their nursing department, a teaching center designed to look and feel like a hospital room to help practice medical skills. Noelle? Noelle, how are you feeling today? I'm not feeling very well at all. Nursing student Justin Bailey is getting to know Noelle. Noelle is a simulator program to demonstrate symptoms of almost any medical condition. But this allows us to give them exposure to a wide range. We have a mannequin that actually bursts the baby. Uh, we have a pediatric mannequin. We have an adult mannequin. We actually have a whole family of mannequins. The new center serves as a mock hospital and allows students to collaborate just like medical staff in a clinical setting. But employers of students who have had learning by simulation require less time for orientation and less time for staff development after they're in the workplace. Nursing student Beatrice Pfeiffer says it helps students become desensitized to some of the difficult things they might see, smell, or hear in a real hospital. So when you're in that simulation, lab, you have the adrenaline and the excitement going. Sometimes you skip over um, vital steps and being able to watch yourself back and sit back and watch it is just priceless. Justin agrees, uh, saying it's a game changer, making him better prepared for the future. I am, you know, feel wonderful and glad and happy for the program that is able to pull this off so that the students are able to learn in an environment like this and so that they can apply it to the clinical profession. Sadie, the director of nursing, says this was a long time in the making. The center also has the capacity to exchange ideas between team members or across the globe. In the studio, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News.